Percentify, decimalize, double click on the fill handle, dropping it down. So there it is. Then we can have our Z score. This is the Z score of H. And so now same format, we're gonna say black, white, center, similar calculative calculation of the Z score uh, we did before, but now we're, we're using the kind of the smoother curve of the actual approximation of the bell curve based on the data set information. So this is the equal brackets, each data point minus the mean F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the letter number, closing it up, divided by the standard deviation, F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the letter and number, and enter, double click in the fill handle to drop it down. So there we have it. Let's select all three of these, make it a little bit thinner. Let's make a thinner AG as well. And so there we have it. Now, if we were to plot this out, I can plot this out and we should get our bell curve. So I'm going to say control shift down, control backspace. And if I was to say insert charts, I won't do an area chart. Let's do a, just a normal kind of bar chart just to see the shape. So there it is. So now we've got a, a smoother bell shaped curve, although it's uh, it's it doesn't have as much you know detail in it here so we're going to say okay so there is that let's do the same thing for our weights so i'm going to say now let's do the the weights so it's going to be w p of w and this is going to be z of w selecting those three home tab font group black white center wrap we don't really need to wrap it but we'll do it anyway and then we're going to say this one lower we're going to have in pounds going let's go to 79 79 pounds and then we'll pound our way up we inched our way up last time now we're going to pound our way up uh up to 174. i'm pounding my way up to 174. i'm sick of inching my way up now i'm pounding my way up man because i'm that's how it has to be because people wasn't wasn't happening with the engine and this is going to be equal to the norm dot dist and the x is now 79 comma the mean is now the 12708 f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the letter number comma and then the standard d is now 1166 f4 on the keyboard and comma the cumulative no zero or false closing up the brackets enter percentifying it home tab number group percentify adding some decimals double clicking to drop it down let's do the z-score the z-score equals brackets each of our data points 79 in this case minus the average weight 127 which seems light to me uh but that's again because i'm obviously so yoked up that i'm heavier than that so it's not like i'm it's for health i'm healthier by being heavier just kidding so then what's divided by the standard deviation uh the, here and then we'll double we'll double click to drag it down so there's our z's okay so now that we have that uh we can then plot our bell curve for this one selecting the middle column control shift down control backspace to get back up i'm going to put that over here somewhere home tab or insert tab charts let's just do a chart like this we get our bell shaped curve so there it is. All right. So now let's just kind of think about these uh, Z scores, the relationships between the Z scores. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to pull this to the right. Pull this to the right. And let's just try to match up our, our Z scores as best we can. I'm going to make a skinny AK first. And then I'm going to select all these columns from AH to AN. I'm going to say Control C. I want to paste that here, but I'm going to paste just the values only. I'm not going to pull over the formulas. Right click and paste it one, two, three. I'd also like to paste the formatting, just not the formulas. So I'm going to right click and paste the formatting only. 
So now we have it looking the same, but there's just hard coded numbers. In other words, no formula. I'm gonna move this stuff to the right so I can have some room. And so these pictures need to be moved to the right. So we have our space to work here. And then I think it's easier. This one has less data. So I'm actually would like to move this onto the right side. So to do that, I could select all of this. And then I can say, I could try to move it this way, but it's useful to note that it's the same to do a cut. If I cut that and paste it over here, control V, paste it over there, that's kind of the same thing. Then I'm gonna delete these columns, which I don't need from AO to AR, right click and let's delete those. We'll make a skinny uh, AS column here. So there we have it. So now what I'd like to do is for the best I can is match up the the Z score. So they're not going to match up automatic all the you know exactly, but we can match up the Z scores basically as best we can because that's the the tool that we can use generally to match up the data. So for example, the second one here, I can take this and move it down and say this uh, is close as close close pretty close to uh, this one so it's actually close to this one 3.68 3.69 this one I'm gonna grab this and move it down it's pretty close to the uh, 3.15 like that one it's pretty close between between those two two point this is gonna be 2.63 2.6 Three, it's pretty close to that one and then we're gonna say the next one is 2.1 it's pretty close to that one it's kind of in between these two I'll put it there and then we've got the 1.57 1. 1.57 uh, 